Hello, in this video we're going to look at monopoly profit maximization when the monopolist demand curve takes on this form. A monopoly faces the following demand conditions. The quantity demanded is zero if the monopolist charges a price greater than ten dollars. Otherwise, quantity demanded will equal fifty divided by the price if the price is less than or equal to ten dollars. The monopoly has a cost of production of C equals 2Q, so in this case marginal cost, the derivative of the cost equation is just 2. What is the profit maximizing price? First thing we'll notice is this is a constant elasticity of demand function in which the price elasticity of demand is minus 1. Marginal revenue is 0 if the price elasticity of demand is minus 1. More formally, marginal revenue can be thought of as equal to the price multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by the price elasticity of demand. So in this particular case, given our functional form for the demand equation, price elasticity of demand is minus 1, so what we have in parentheses is 0, and marginal revenue then must be 0. That presents a problem with trying to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost because marginal revenue is 0 and marginal cost is 2. So just rewriting the demand cost equation. So one thing to notice here, if the firm raises price and the price doesn't exceed $10, revenue remains unchanged at $50. So raising price doesn't cause anything bad to happen in this case. And we can just see that with a simple table. If the price is 1, plugging 1 in for P here, the quantity is 50. Total revenue is price times quantity, or $50. If the price was $2, this firm would sell 25 units, so price times quantity, total revenue once again is $50. And I did some other examples here. However, raising price, although it doesn't change revenue, it does reduce the total cost of production because a firm produces and sells fewer units at higher prices. Therefore, the firm should set a price of $10 and sell 5 units of output. The profit in this case would be at a maximum. At a price of $10, the firm would sell 5 units, so 10 times 5 total revenue is 50. And evaluating our cost equation when output is 5 units, we get total cost of $10, so 50 minus 10 is $40. At a price above $10, the firm's profit is 0. At a price below $10, the firm's profit would be less than $40. So that is the profit maximizing price and quantity for this example. Okay, hope you found this video helpful.